You're welcome again to the Prayer Research Institute channel on deeper prayers against backward dreams. Video number seven. The glory belongs to God and to God alone. For this number seven video in our series, I bless the Lord who brought you here. The steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord, and our righteousness is of Christ. I trust that the God who brought you to this channel today ordered your step. It is not coincidental. It is not by chance. It is by a deliberate design of the Most High that you have come across this channel, particularly if you are doing so for the first time. And if you are one of our subscribers, I bless the Lord for you. To God alone be the glory for what He has been using this channel to do for those who are seeking deliverance from this evil called backward dreams. I would enjoin you, if you are here for the first time listening to me, to please listen to the first six videos, number one to number six, in order to be able to have a better understanding of what we are going to do today. It is very important to have the background of the last six videos in order to understand this number seven. The knowledge, like I often say, is deeply protected, highly protected. It's not open to everybody. Not everybody will appreciate it. That is just the nature of knowledge. Knowledge is never anything we all go to grab when we want. There is a lock on knowledge. Only Christ can open it as Christ is doing for you right now. Amen. In this video number seven, we shall be taking advantage of what we started in video number six. In video number six, we used the tabernacle for our prayers. And we want to expatiate on that in this particular video, number seven. If you want to understand backward dreams, the simple statement we put out about backward dreams is that backward dreams is a product. Backward dreams is the product of the coded information into your blood, the coding of some assignments, coded assignments in your blood, that if you don't carry out those assignments, then you will have backward dreams to remind you, you are to carry out these assignments. And that is why backward dreams is always repetitive. It's always repeating itself. It simply does so because they are waiting to get your attention, to come back, to carry out those assignments that are coded into your blood by covenants and by dedications. These assignments are coded by covenants. They are coded by dedication. They are coded by initiation, and this is recorded in your blood. So the way is you must master it and tell them, I am now in Christ. I am not going back to those assignments. I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to fulfill my kingdom assignment, not the assignment handed down to me by personal, family, local idols. So we must also see backward dreams as a product of deep, deep idolatry. Yes, 
a product of deep idolatry. If I may say that again, if I may just say that again, the evil of backward dreams can be best explained in the simple statement that your blood is coded with information about covenanted and dedicated assignments that you are supposedly not paying attention to and in order to get your attention they apply backward dreams people often ask me who are they they are the gods the deities the idols the thrones the priesthood mark them the gods the deities, the idols, the thrones, the priesthood, they all smack of the same thing, represented in different form. These are the major and most prominent assignment givers. You must rule them as God enjoined Cain in Genesis chapter 4. You must rule, you must rule them, you must master them if you want to get over backward dreams. We have set the tone of the kind of prayer that work. So expect us to continue in that line. I used the last video number six to explain the model of the tabernacle as the model when you are addressing those who want to operate as God, but are not God. These are the powers behind backward dreams. Today, in video number seven, we want to practically pray ourselves into another higher level, very much conscious of the powers we are dealing with. We must, however, become conscious of these powers if we want to understand how to rule them. In order to understand these powers and why they are dealing with us the way they do, we must first of all understand who we are who am I? Who are you? Why are you here? What are you doing here? How am I made? What is our structural configuration and composition? Except we know who we are, we cannot understand why we are having backward dreams. I repeat, except you know who you are, you cannot understand why you are having backward dreams. Man is best described by the maker of man. So we will have to listen to our maker in Genesis chapter 2 for knowledge regarding our makeup. I have said before, dream is a language of the soul. The way the word soul has been used as kind of, well, I say, bastardized the true meaning of soul. And the, the soul consciousness, your soul awareness is so critical to mastering, to rule over the evil called backward dreams. Your soul awareness, your soul consciousness must greatly increase from what it is the more soul aware you are the more soul conscious you are the better you will be able to rule to master to dominate backward dreams i must at this point also one some of us who some people will tell me pastor i i had that I used to have that dream, but it stopped. Be careful to understand that stop. Sometimes, when your attention is not gotten, they mutate, they, they transform to appear in another battle, in another form. And you would think the backward dreams have stopped. If backward dreams must stop affecting you, it is by prayer under the leadership of the Holy Spirit to rule over it and put it in place and keep it kept in place 
So the fact that the dream may have stopped, be careful how it stopped. Did it stop because they changed on you, coming up in another form, or did it stop because you ruled them by prayer from your position in Christ? So there are two ways. Some people say, well, it stop. You just pass a season in which they are not going to get your attention in that way. They are getting it in another way. So the best way to have it stop is to rule over it and keep it where it's supposed to be, at the feet of Christ. Amen. I will. So let's get started with video number seven. Um, let's get started with video number seven. I've explained to you before that dream is a language of the soul. Remember that. Keep that. Dream is a language of the soul. I've explained to you that whatever strengthens your soul will all go well for your dreams. When your soul is strengthened, your dreams will receive power. So the strengthening of the soul is key. And to put that in stage, we are going to start with some prayers. I want to do some few prayers, some delicate, dangerous prayers. Please do them aggressively. This is the first prayer. Every spirit I have worshipped ignorantly and has become one with me. Blood of Jesus, separate me in the name of Jesus. Every spirit I have worshipped ignorantly. Every deity, every throne I have worshipped ignorantly and has become one with me. Blood of Jesus, separate me. Separate me. Separate me from that spirit. Every spirit I have worshipped ignorantly, unconsciously, and has become one with me. Blood of Jesus, separate me. Separate me in the mighty name of Jesus. You will pray again. Every power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land, let that power die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land, let that power die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land, in a land of affliction, in a land of sickness, in a land of backward dreams, any power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land, let that power die. Let the power die. The power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. Let the power die. The power that wants me to sing the Lord's song in a strange land of backward dreams. Let the power die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again. Please, this is very important prayer. I want you to be. I want you to. This is a very important prayer and I want you to take it very aggressively. I am a partaker of the miracle of life. Power of the miraculous overshadow me and refresh my soul to carry the love of God and the fear of God. I am a partaker of the miracle of life. Power of the miraculous overshadow me and refresh my soul to carry the love of God and the fear of God. I am a partaker of the miracle of life. Power of the miraculous overshadow me, overshadow me and refresh my soul to carry the love of God and the fear of God. In the name of Jesus, I am a partaker of the miracle of life. Power of the miraculous, overshadow me and refresh my soul to carry the love of God and the fear of God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again with your right hand lifted. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to personal idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to personal idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to personal idols. In the name of Jesus, I 
pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to personal idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to personal idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to family idols. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again, similar prayer. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and I break every allegiance to family idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and I break every allegiance to family idols, the idols of my father's house, the idols of my mother's house. I break allegiance. I break allegiance. I break every allegiance to family idols. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to family idols, to the idols of my father's house, to the idols of my mother's house. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to family idols, to the idols of my father's house and the idols of my mother's house. I break the allegiance. I break every allegiance. For I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I break every allegiance to every family idol of my father's house and of my mother's house in the name of Jesus. In the name, then you will pray again. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and I break every allegiance to local idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and I break every allegiance to local idols. In the name of Jesus, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and I break every allegiance to local idols. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Good job. You will pray again, blood of Jesus. Heal me of the trauma to my soul because of the love I did not get as a child. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Heal me of the trauma to my soul because of the love I did not get as a child. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Heal me of the trauma to my soul because of the love I did not get as a child. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, heal me of the trauma to my soul because of the love I did not get as a child. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. And very important, you will pray. I am seated in Christ, Jesus, above principalities and powers, personal idols, family idols, local idols. Let your power die. I am seated in Christ Jesus above principalities and powers. Personal idols, family idols, local idols. Let your power die in the name of Jesus. I am seated in Christ Jesus above principalities and powers. Personal idols, family idols, local idols. Let your power die. I am seated in Christ Jesus above principalities and powers. Personal idols, family idols, local idols, let your power die. I am seated in Christ Jesus above principalities and powers. Personal idols, family idols, local idols, let your power die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My soul, take the fear of God and develop perfect hatred for the idols, personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, my soul, take the fear of God and develop perfect hatred for the idols, personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, my soul, take the fear of God and develop perfect hatred for the idols, personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, my soul, Take the fear of God and develop perfect hatred for the idols, personal, family, and local, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. You will pray again. 
this is the last one before we get into the subject matter. Oh Lord, let my food preference, taking my body out of sync with my soul, receive Holy Ghost correction in the name of Jesus. My food preference, that is always taking my body out of sync with my soul, receive Holy Ghost correction in the name of Jesus. My food preference, taking my body out of sync with my soul, receive Holy Ghost correction in the name of Jesus. My food preference, taking my body out of sync with my soul, receive Holy Ghost correction in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And again, let's get there now. Um, I want to say this to everybody who comes to this channel looking for victory, for rulership over backward dreams. There is this very important rule number one if you want to deal with backward dreams. As repetitive as it may seem, learn to pray immediately you wake up from a backward dream. This is red letter, very important. It is very important. If you want to master the dreams, don't let every opportunity of occurrence to go without prayer treatment. You must prayer treat backward dreams as they show up. Remember, I showed you in the book of Job, chapter 33, this is 14 to 17, that we have established it, that dream is God speaking to us. I have explained to you why we dream. I told you that the body must rest, and the body does rest every night you go to bed. Anytime you go to sleep, the body rests as a matter of necessity. If you don't get that rest, you are in trouble. That's why people who cannot sleep, people with insomnia, they have a big problem. But this is not a problem of the flesh per se. It's a problem of the soul. Now listen, when the body sleeps, the soul does not need physical rest. The soul does not need to rest every night. In fact, the soul has its own rest. And I am delighted to tell you that the rest of the soul takes place once a week. I repeat, the body rests every night. The soul only rests once a week by virtue of time, the seventh day of the week. That is why you will see it in Genesis chapter 2. When we say God rests, God is a spirit. It does not need physical rest. God was alluding to the rest that we must observe by virtue of his blessings and his sanctification of the seventh day. The seventh day rest is not a Jewish affair. It is an ordinance. Of creation. I repeat, the seventh day rest for your soul is not a Jewish affair. Though it came to be made prominent in Judaism and by the Jews, but before ever there was a Jew, in Genesis chapter 2, I'll be showing you that to you, as an ordinance of creation, God created the rest for the soul of man. The soul rests every seven days. For those who want to listen to me carefully, what do we mean by a year, 365 days, or 365 one quarter days, 366 on a leap year? What do you mean by 366 days? It refers to the sun, that is, 
how the earth goes around the sun, the full revolution of the earth around the sun is what gives us 366 days. That is, it is marked astronomically. Astronomy, you see it in Genesis chapter 1, God used this for time and seasons. 365 days is honor to the sun. Your month, 30 days, is honor to the moon. Is the time the moon takes to go around the earth. So the month is honor to the moon. The day is honor to the earth itself. The earth completes a rotation, a full rotation in 24 hours. It is one day. Do you see this astronomic, astronomical relevance of the sun, the moon, and the earth? The earth rotates, and every completion of a rotation is, is called our 24 hours, our day and night. The earth is honored. Where do we get seven days a week from? The seven days a week is the honor to the soul of man. So important is that part of us that is called the soul, that God gave his own rest to honor it every seven days. Just like you sleep every night, your soul rests, not by sleeping, just, but a rest instituted into time by the maker and the owner of time. That is, the seventh day is reserved, is dedicated, is devoted, is sacred, is set apart for the rest of the soul. Not to take it is at your peril. So, the seventh day rest of the soul is not a Jewish affair. It is an ordinance of creation. Ever before the Jews were called as the people, God instituted it in Genesis chapter 2. The Jews came to make it prominent because they are the custodians of the oracles of God in this dispensation. That being said, so when you sleep by night, your body is resting and goes to sleep. Your soul is not resting. Your soul is awake. So whatever happens when you are sleeping is an activity of the soul. That is why we said that dream is a language of the soul. When your body sleeps and resting, it's not going to be involved in activities that are ongoing. This activity that are ongoing the activities of the soul. I will show you deeper prayers because of our quest to know who we are. Soul is very important to know who we are. Amen. Let's go very quickly. I, I want to reiterate the most vital knowledge about backward dreams. Like I said before again, I sound repetitive for a reason. You have allegiance and loyalty sworn by your blood because of priestly or royal assignment to deities and idols. I am repeating myself. One of the most basic facts and truths about backward dreams is there is an allegiance, a loyalty, a fidelity sworn by your blood because of priestly or royal assignment to deities and idols. Don't get puffed up. If you are having consistently backward dreams, you are not a commoner. You are not ordinary. I've said this before. You either belong to the royal class or the priestly class. There are always three classes when you put mankind together. You have the royal, you have the priestly, and you have the commoner. Don't be fooled by the word commoner. <laughs> this royal and priesthood, they are just differentiation of assignments. The commoner, the priesthood, and the royals is a matter of differentiation 
of assignment. You may come to see one as more important to the other. It is because of where you are standing. Without the commoner, the royal ain't going to do nothing. Without the commoner, the priesthood ain't going to do nothing. So, each of these three, they are important. Whether you are a commoner, you are of the priesthood, or you are royal, the three are souls of men. They are important. It is just an issue of your function, of your assignment. Amen. Because some so don't feel poor because I am royal. I am of the priesthood. It is just a differentiation of assignment. If you get that. So these backward dreams, some assignments are critical. If there is a problem in a country, everybody looks to the head. If there is a problem in a family, everybody looks to the head for solution. When there was no baby formula in America, uh, the president was in, was called into play. You'll be wondering, can't you go find yourself some baby formulas? No. They have to include, look at Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka today is in a turmoil and they suck the head because things are not going on well. So there is a place for the royal, there is a place for the priesthood, and there is a place for the commoner. Each of them have their place. So if you are having backward dream, it is because you have an assignment that is either royal or priestly. So if you are consistently having backward dreams, I'm saying it like I've been saying in the past six videos, this is the seventh video, there is something about you that is not of ordinary level. This is why you need Jesus Christ to counteract it. If you are not a Christian or you have not come to Christ, your backward dreams will not be so much as pronounced. But when you come to Christ and you are going towards Christ and going deeper in Christ, they will want to call you back. And backward dreams is what they use. Hey, 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 you have an assignment here. Amen. Now, let's move very quickly forward. Amen. It is... So, let us come down to this very important teaching at this moment. It will make a difference to your backward dreams if you understand the concept I'm about to show right now regarding your structure, your composition, your configuration. Who are you? Knowing who you are will help you to understand the root of the battles of backward dreams. Good things takes time. Please. Good things, they take time. You will need to listen and listen again if you are really interested in getting a solution to backward dreams. But it does matter that you know who you are. And critical to knowing who you are is, who am I? What am I made of? And to 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 sell to this, look at Genesis chapter two verse seven. Genesis chapter two verse seven. Genesis chapter two verse seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed it into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul I want to explain to you who am I we often hear us say man is a spirit with a soul living in a body man is a spirit with a soul living in a body among these three which one comes first according to genesis chapter 2 verse 7 listen again and the lord god formed man of what of the dust of the ground the body made first. 
Second Timothy comes in and God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Number two, the spirit. Because the breath, we often speak of spirits. The best way to describe a spirit is like it's like a breath. That is why as you say some of these prayers and you begin to throw out gas or things come out of your body, they are symbols of deliverance. For when spirit take leave from us, it's, they are like a breath taking leave. They have no extension in time nor space. Breath is spirit. Breath is spirit. Have you ever heard of breathing exercise on deliverance ground? Highly important. We shall be doing some of them in this series. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, fasting body, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, second thing, spirit, and man became a living soul. Three, the living soul is the last one. The first one is the body. Then the spirit became, it's like two plus two becomes four. One plus one becomes two. Are you following me? I want to make it clearer. Watch this. Watch this now. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground. That is what? The body. Let's call that the red, Adam, red, the body, first. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. Spirit, that is body, plus spirit, the breath of life. Became, and man became the soul. The body plus the spirit will give you the soul. You can't have soul without a body and a spirit. When we speak of soul, soul presupposes two components, body and spirit. The living soul today that is in heaven is Jesus Christ, who has a glorified body. Jesus has a living soul is in heaven. When the soul dies, it means one of these two components are no longer available. If one of these two components, the body or the spirit, becomes available, the soul will cease. The soul exists because the spirit and the body are together. So, the soul is an amalgam of body and spirit. What a strange decision. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> your backward dreams must die. Your backward dreams must die. Your backward dreams must die. As you come to understand your structure and your configuration, backward dreams will die. You are a body with a spirit that becomes a living soul. According to Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, this is not according to me, it's according to Genesis. If you read it in sequence, if you read it sequentially, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, the body, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, the spirit, and man became a living soul, the soul. Body plus spirit is equal to soul. The only person today that has both body and spirit in heaven is Jesus Christ. That body is a glorified body. We all, when we come to judgment, it is the soul that sins that shall die. Because that soul must carry both the spirit and the body. So this, the soul has a spiritual essence 
and a physical essence at the same time. Soul is that which has a physical and a spiritual essence at the same time. And that is what is unique. Spirits are spirits. Everybody knows spirits. The spirits know sp the demons know demons. <laughs> the spirit knows spirit. The spirit knew Jesus Christ because of the ascended spiritual nature of Christ as the sinless one. So what am I saying here? The spirit and the body, the amal, the guest, and the fusion became a soul. So we know the body is just nothing but elements. The dust of the ground, what is in that dust? They are all elements, silicates, silicon, iron, hydrogen, oxygen, all these elements is what you have. That is the body. The elements. That is what our body, all our body is nothing but elements. One element or the other. Organic chemistry. That's what our body is. Our spirit is a spirit. But the soul is what is unique about man. Because that soul is a spirit with a body. The three are important. And that is who you are. Anything that affects one of this, any component of this equation. You see, this equation has three factors. The body, the spirit, and the soul. Whatever affects one will affect all. If I change any one of this equation, this equation will not remain the same again. So meaning the body, the spirit, that is called the soul, they form this equation. But now to make it simple, hence for because of the prayer we are going to pray, very important prayers that will make you master backward dreams is to know what is the body. Our body does five things. Touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Our body has five sensory organs. Those five are very important. That's what our body does. Touch, taste, smell, sight, hearing. Put them together, you have a man in the body. Our spirit has seven parts. Eight parts, I mean. Our spirit has eight parts. What are those eight parts of the spirit? One, it is only our spirit. Whenever it has to do with revelation, it is an issue of the spirit. It is through our spirit we receive revelation. Intuition, it is through our spirit. The fear of God is through the spirit. It's a spiritual thing. The fear of God, the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of wisdom. It's a spiritual activity. Prayer. Whenever we are praying, it is not our body or our soul that we are using to pray. It is our spirit. Reverence is an issue of the spirit. Faith is an issue of the spirit. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hope is an issue of the spirit. Worship. When we worship, it is the spirit component we are using. Are you understanding your structure? Those eight items. Remember five, eight. Then the soul has seven. So whenever we see why we break them down is the body is very complex. The spirit is complex. The soul is a complex. In order to understand their complexities, we describe them in many ways. We describe the body in five ways, because the body is complex. We describe the body in terms of touch. We speak of the body in terms of taste. We speak of the body in terms of smell. We speak of the body in terms of sight. We speak of the body in terms of hearing. The body is complex. The spirit is complex. We speak of the spirit in terms of revelation that comes from God. Intuition. You see, everything in the spirit, they are coming from above. Because the spirit is also a complex. 
then the soul is a complex. When we speak of the soul, we are speaking of the conscience. When you hear them say, oh, that person has no conscience, it is a function of the soul. When we speak of the soul, we are speaking of the reasoning. When we speak of the soul, we are speaking of the imagination. Casting down imagination is an activity of the soul. When we speak of the mind, we are speaking of the soul. When we speak of emotions, our, when your emotions become warped, it is a function of the soul. When we speak of the choices we make, this is a soulish affair. When we speak of the will of man, it's a soulish affair. Is in the field of the soul. Hearing me and getting what I've just said will enable your prayer to take on another horror. It will enable your prayer to take on another level of power. The understanding of who you are in terms of the body, soul and spirit will make it very, very different when you begin to pray with that consciousness. And that is why I'm going to take you quickly to make use of this information in prayer. See how the prayer goes. We are building a very complex deliverance structure that will take you out of backward dreams. You have to be patient. Take them one step at a time. We are just in the middle. We are, we are building. When we are done, the structure of your deliverance will appear. But even as we progress, you will receive measure of release and relief and deliverance. Deliverance is the acquisition of knowledge that makes you bigger than your battles. It is not about falling down. When you gain knowledge, your battles will be surmounted. Amen. Let's start with the prayers. Let's take this one prayer, for example. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command the repair in the name of Jesus. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command a repair command the repair. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command the repair, command the repair, command the repair. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command the repair. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command the repair. By whatever measure, my body is out of sync with my soul. Blood of Jesus, command the repair. In Jesus' name we pray. Why would your body be out of sync with your soul? They are supposed to be in equilibrium. Your body, your spirit, and your soul, they are supposed to be in equilibrium. To be in equilibrium means to be in a state of rest. A place of suitable rest the three at the same time they are in a state of rest when they are in equilibrium when they come out of equilibrium we become deliverance candidates when they come out of sync to be in sync is to be in equilibrium if they are in sync they are in equilibrium once they come out of equilibrium is because something happened to break the equilibrium to bring them out of sync they come out of sync because of how we have described this theory when something happens to your touch if they touch you and you shake uh, there's something wrong with your body if i touch any part of your body uh, you are out of equilibrium there's something wrong with your body if your taste has been damaged and you are eating and you have no taste like those with covid or you can't smell if you can't smell you can't taste you are out of equilibrium if you can't see well you are out of equilibrium 
if you can't hear, there's a battle. In the day of battle, they blow the horn of the battle, and you don't you don't hear the horn, the, the horn of battle. The trumpet of battle, you don't hear it, and there's a battle. And everybody is running, and you are not running. The battle will overtake you. You are out of equilibrium. Each of those, we call them those activities as gates, the gates of the body. The body has five gates. The spirit has eight gates. The soul has seven gates. These are about 20 gates. Each of these gates, they have gatekeepers. Gatekeepers are spiritual. They can be demonic. They can be deities. They can be the gods and the goddesses. They can control this gate. If the gate of your imagination is under a strange control, you'll be having strange imagina imagination. For example, if the demon of lust, the demon of lust walks on your gate of imagination, when we lost, we use our imagination coupled with our eyes, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. We use this in, in lust. So each of these gates, they have a gatekeeper. These gatekeepers, they are idolatrous in function because they take us away from God. Jesus Christ, the gate. May Jesus Christ, the gate, become these 20 gates for you. May Jesus Christ, the gate, in the book of James, said, I am the gate. The Christ who said, I am the gate. Be the gate to the five gates of my body, to the eight gates of my spirit, and to the seven gates of my soul. Jesus Christ, who declared, I am the gate, be the gate to the 20 gates of my body, soul, and spirit. Jesus Christ, who declared, I am the gate, become the gate. Be the gate of the 20 gates of my body, soul, and spirit. Jesus Christ, who declared, I am the gate, be the gate to the five gates of my body. Be the gate to my spirit. Be the gate to my soul. Jesus Christ would declare that I am the gate. Be the gate to my body. Be the gate to my soul. Be the gate to my spirit. Jesus Christ would declare I am the gate. Be the gate to my body. Be the gate to my spirit. Be the gate to my soul. Jesus Christ would declare I am the gate. Be the gate to my body. Be the gate to my spirit. Be the gate to my soul. Jesus Christ would declare I am the gate. Be the gate to my body. Be the gate to my spirit. Be the gate to my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the only gate to my body. Be the only gate to my spirit. Be the only gate to my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my spirit. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body, to every gate of my spirit. To every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper. To every gate of my body. To every gate of my spirit. To every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper. To every gate of my body. To every gate of my spirit. And to every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper. To every gate of my body. To every gate of my spirit. To every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body, to every gate of my spirit, to every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my spirit. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my soul. Can you say that along with me? Jesus Christ who declared I am the gate. Be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body, to every gate of my spirit. To every gate of my soul. Jesus Christ, who declared I am the gate, 
be the gatekeeper to every gate of my body, to every gate of my spirit, to every gate of my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, watch this. As we are coming closely to the end of this particular video, listen very carefully. The most cited sin in the Bible is idolatry. There is no other sin in the Bible that is as cited or as received so much citation as idolatry. Everybody has and everybody has idols. That is why we need deliverance. These idols are embedded at the gates of our body, of our spirit, and of our soul. If Jesus Christ is not the gatekeeper, idols are. He says, I stand at the door and I knock. Jesus Christ is not the only one standing at the door and is knocking. Everyone that has ever wants to become like Jesus Christ, they do the same. Everyone that has ever wanted to be like God, they do the same. They stand at the door and they knock. So, idolatry. War against idolatry will give you victory over backward dreams. If we treat backward dreams as an issue of idolatry, we should be the subject matter of our next video. Because somebody was asking, Pastor, how do we say the same prayers for if you are seeing dead people in your dreams? To see dead people in your issue is an issue of idolatry. Backward dream is an issue of idolatry. Those coded assignments, they are from idols, from deities. There's a way they tie up. It may not look clear to you now. Just trust what God is doing by these teachings. You will come to it. If you don't get clear, don't worry. It will, be, it will become clear with time. That idols are our greatest battles. Idols are our biggest problems. Deal with idols, you will be in good rapport with God. If you can kill idols, you will be best friend to God. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind is the greatest commandment. What we keep you from loving that God with all your heart, soul, and mind are idols. Little children, keep yourself from idols. You must know your you must know the idols before you can keep yourself from them. Burn their altars. <laughs> burn their altars. Burn their idols. You must know the idols before you can burn them. Every of the gate I just showed you, these 20 gates of the body, soul, and spirit, all of them have idols. Who wants to play God? All of the gates have idols. The 20 gates, 20 categories of idols, they have their specialization. They want to play God. They are playing you a game, and the game is not going to end well. When idols play you a game, the game is not going to end well, but they cannot but do. That prayer comes to my mind. Let somebody shout the prayer. The enemy is playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game in the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game in the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game in the name of Jesus. Pray like that. The enemy is playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game in the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game in the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the games. 
scatter the game and scatter the idols. In the name of Jesus, pray like that. The enemy is playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter it, scatter it. In the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game and scatter the idols. Arise, oh Lord, let your enemy be scattered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game. In the name of Jesus, scatter the game. Oh Lord, scatter the game. Scatter the game. In the name of Jesus. The idols are playing me a game that will not end well. Oh Lord, scatter the game and scatter the idols. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Good job. Now, so now you know that we, we treat backward dreams as idolatry. That is the next level. To treat backward dreams as idolatry. So somebody will ask, how do we pray when we see the dead? To see the dead in your dream is deep idolatry. We shall be taken on it. Watch this channel. If you keep seeing the dead in your dream, it is just another flavor of backward dreams. It is the same thing, but in another coloration. So the same prayer that works here will work for that. You just know how to, how to improvise or how to, to use the prayers in that particular area. It's the same issue, idolatry. These 20 gates, they cannot but have idols. As long as we are breathing. And I will now show you how this all relate to salvation. When we say we are saved, what does it mean? Is our body saved? Is it our soul that is saved? Or is it our spirit? What is the Holy Spirit doing now? If we are saved, what is the soul doing? What is the body doing? The body profited nothing. The body can, must be crucified, but it's not yet. So these prayers you are going to pray, watch them. Your soul is most prominent in this equation. Because your soul is unique. Your soul carries the signature of God, the Most High, the Maker. Because the soul is the spirit plus the body. If you tamper with that spirit, you tamper with the soul. They tampered with the spirit in the garden. And the spirit of God left. Who am I? When the spirit of God left, who am I? When the spirit of God left, who am I? So I'm trying to bring you to what we will be treating in video number eight. But what we are going to say now to close these prayers, they are highly important. They may not sound like your problem, but believe me, your backward dreams are in problems. Love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols, personal, family, and local. Love of God, shall we pray? Love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols, personal, family, and local. Love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols, personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols, personal, family, and local. Pray in the name of Jesus, love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols, personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. A lot of people have problems with lust. The eye gate. There are idols that are gatekeepers. They want to direct what you are interested in seeing and what you are always interested in thinking about. The soul. Love of God, enter into my heart and remove and replace the love of idols, 
personal, family, and local. Shall we cry again? Love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols. Personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols. Personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols. Personal, family, and local. In the name of Jesus, love of God, enter into my heart. Remove and replace the love of idols. Personal, family and local in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen now let's go before we say these prayers please listen there are just seven prayers we want to pray treat the soul if your soul performs well you will master backward dreams one simple knowledge of the word of God, that the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. We shall use this scripture for the next seven prayers. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That word is what we want to use now. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. For the seven gates of our soul, we want to use the fear of God to close. Please do the prayer aggressively. Your dreams tonight will notice that you have said this prayer. When you go to sleep tonight, your dream life will know that you have said this prayer. So please sit them violently. Shout if you can shout. If you're in a place you can shout, shout along with me. It is a prayer battle you must shout these prayers. The more you shout them, the better. You give the enemy a shock treatment. They need it. These serpents of backward dreams must die. Let's go. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Overshadow my conscience and make it pure. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Overshadow my conscience and make it pure. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Overshadow my conscience and make it pure. In the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Overshadow my conscience and make it pure. In the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Overshadow my conscience and make it pure. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again. Number two. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound. In the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound in the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my reasoning and make it sound in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Number three, fear of God. Enter into my imagination and kill lust in the name of Jesus. Fear of God. Enter into my imagination and kill lust in the name of Jesus. Fear of God. Enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, the fear of God, enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, enter into my imagination and kill lust. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Pray again, number four, fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my mind to stabilize my mind. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my mind and stabilize my mind. Take over my mind to stabilize my mind. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my mind to stabilize my mind. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my mind 
to stabilize my mind. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Take over my mind to stabilize my mind. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If we shout again, fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take my emotions to stabilize my soul. In the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. Are you always crying? Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. In the name of Jesus. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my emotions to stabilize my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again. Fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Overshadow my capacity to make godly choices in the name of jesus fear of god the beginning of wisdom overshadow my capacity to make godly choices in the name of jesus i will not make mistakes in my choices fear of god the beginning of wisdom overshadow my capacity to make godly choices i refuse to make mistakes i refuse to make mistakes fear of god the beginning of wisdom Overshadow my capacity to make godly choices. Overshadow now. Overshadow now. Overshadow now. Overshadow now. Overshadow now. In the name of Jesus, the fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Overshadow my capacity to make godly choices. In the name of Jesus, I continue to make mistakes. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Overshadow my capacity to make godly choices in the mighty name of Jesus. Overshadow now. 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 Overshadow in the name of Jesus. The fear of God, the beginning of wisdom. Overshadow my capacity to make godly choices in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will go again. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my will and let the will of God be my will. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my will and let the will of God be my will. In the name of Jesus, fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my will and let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Let the will of God always be my will. Fear of God, the beginning of knowledge. Take over my will and let the will of God be my will. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good job. Come back to those prayers in this video number seven. We are moving forward. I pray over your life that the battle of backward dreams shall not empty you of the gift of God in your life. I pray that the battle of backward dreams will not send you into an early grave. I pray that the battles of backward dreams will not send your helpers away running from you. In the name of Jesus, I pray, the battles of backward dream will not send you running to your enemy. Will not send you running to those that you should run away from. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the battle of backward dreams shall not empty you of the grace of our Christ. In the name of Jesus. If there be any attack against you because of this prayer, let the attack backfire. Any serpent that will be let loose because of this prayer, with the word of God as a hammer, I crush the head of that serpent in the name of you. Every serpent that will be let loose because of these prayers you have taken, I take the word of God as a hammer and I 
crush the head of that serpent. I crush the head of that serpent. I am of the seed of the woman ordained to crush the head of serpent. Every serpent that is angry because of this prayer, every serpent of protected knowledge because of this prayer, with the word of God as a hammer, I crush your head, I crush your head in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. We are moving on to video number eight. This is video number seven. And again, this is the Prayer Research Institute. Channel on prayer, deeper prayers against backward dreams. Please join us for video number eight. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Who wanted to pray about seeing the dead in the dream? We have just given you some ammunition. You can begin to oil your weapon. We will show you how to direct that weapon. If you keep seeing dead people in your dream, repeatedly, it is of the same doings of these idols. Again, thank you for joining us on this channel. Thank you once again for joining us on the Prayer Research Institute channel for this video number seven. Thank you very much. May the Lord richly bless you. Please, if you have any question, you can email us at prayerresearchinstitute at gmail.com. You can email us if you have any question. We'll be prompt to answer your questions at prayerresearchinstitute at gmail.com. Dot com. And if you have been blessed, you like to make an offering a donation, you can do so by just pointing your camera on your iPhone, your smartphone to that code, and that will do the job for you. We look forward to see you video number eight. It is going to be explosive. The prayers here have been wonderful. Please invite somebody to subscribe to this channel, somebody who wants to gain knowledge how to overcome backward dreams. Till I see you again, may the Lord richly bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you rest. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Till video number eight. Thank you very much.